Hey y'all, welcome to Let's Roll Outdoors. We're out here on the pier today, fishing for drum and anything else that wants to bite. And we're gonna show you how we rigged up to catch this bad boy right here. Nice black drum off of Bogan Lip Pier. Here we go, let me show you how we do this. All right, so here we are on the pier. Just got a nice black drum. And I'm gonna show you from start to finish the rig that I'm using right here. First things first, I'm gonna have a little shock leader on here, okay? I've got a 15 pound main line. And then the shock leader from here, use 30 and 40. I think I got 40 right here. And uh, I'm just gonna tie that with a uni knot, or uni knot, uh, whatever you wanna call it. But if you're not comfortable with that knot, you can Google a whole bunch of other knots on how to join your main line to a shock leader. And I'm gonna put a shock leader on of about uh, 20, 30 yards of shock leader. Okay, now we got a shock leader tied on, and what I'm gonna use is called a fish finder rig, all right? It's used all over uh, in, in surf fishing applications, use it on the pier, and the beauty of this rig is versatile, all right? It's basically a sliding weight, all right? So here you have a snap swivel, all right? And it's gonna slide on my shock leader line, all right, like this. All right, so you're just threading your main line shock leader through that sliding swivel. All right, and then what we're gonna put on is a little plastic bead all right, and that's just gonna help as the weight slides up and down the line when that the bead hits the knot it just kind of helps uh, protect it from uh, from that impact all right and then I have a, a leader here today I'm just using about uh, 10 inches of 30 pound test and a one knot circle hook because I'm fishing for a variety of fish all right pompanos red drum black drum uh, not real big fish. I'm looking for keeper fish. All right, we, we just happen to get that nice big six pound drum uh, But this drum this circle hook right here will hold a nice puppy drum and anything else that hits right now that I'm fishing for And I'm just gonna use a, a regular old improved cinch knot, but whatever knot you feel comfortable with uh, Tying your swivel to that's what I'm gonna do right here So, you know twist it six seven times Put it back through the little hole then grab it bring it back through the big hole All right, cinch it down. All right, and this is the rig we're using today right now. Okay, so to recap, got a sliding weight here on a, on a snap swivel, right? The bead, swivel, leader, and the hook. Pretty simple, pretty simple fishing application. And this works off the pier, works in the surf all over the place, all right? Uh, I wanna say thanks to uh, Rock and Rods um, Outdoors Fishing Store in Hubert. It's a new fishing store. This is where we picked up some of the tackle. All right, so if you're in the area of Eastern North Carolina, going through Hubert, Swansboro area, stop at those guys and uh, get some gear from them. And that's it, let's fish. Let's see how we catch fish off of a pier here at Boganlet Pier, Emerald Isle, North Carolina. All right, so here we go. We're gonna take our cast out here. You know, a lot of people make a mistake by using too much shrimp on their hooks, all right? Uh, on the size hook and the type of fish I'm fishing for, these are my bait shrimp right here. I don't know, about three inches long. I'm gonna use about half of that shrimp, all right? I'm just going to pinch that in half. I took the shell off. I'm just going to hook it on the circle hook twice, all right? Once. Twice. There you go. You can see I got my fresh shrimp there. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to lean over. Boom, right there, hit him on the head. Okay, so, and then the other thing you gotta check is your drag, right? Nice drum hits. You want that, uh, you want that drum to be able to pull line and not pull your rod over the, uh, over the pier. We were already having bites as soon as it got out there.
got a little black drum over there. Oh, they might got my shrimp already. Let's check it out. All right, so I just had some little nibbles on there. Put one more little fresh piece of shrimp on there. There we go. Hey, we need a pier net. Red drum. Can I use somebody's net? Yeah, I got one. Oh, you got one? Hey, we got a red drum on here. I know here. What? Well, no, because I have to lean over the side. Here, you want to reel it a little bit? <laughs> got a red drum here. Okay, let me get him. Let me get him. We're gonna get him on the pier. Let go, let go, let go. He's gotta come back. Nice little keeper. Alright, got a red drum right here. Gonna put him in the drop net. Here comes the wave. I could keep a red drum on that rig we just tied up. All right, let's check them out here. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah. Good shot. Very nice. All right, here we go. Nice little keeper red drum. There we go. Yeah. All right. You can see the weight there. Slide rig, fish finder rig. Get the trick. All right, let's roll outdoors. We did it. Okay, y'all, so just to recap, all right, we're going to close out this video. I showed you, uh, we started the video holding a big black drum, right? And I showed you how the rig that, I, that I'm using to uh, catch these fish, and then we wrap it up with a nice red drum. Okay, so this one's right out about 21 inches. He's going uh, to be supper tonight. And right here, here's the fish finder rig, right? Sliding weight, a leader, and a hook. And this was on a one-aught circle hook. Did the trick right here on fresh shrimp. We're using shrimp for bait today. Nice little puppy drum. And look at this, you got two, two spots on this side. That's kind of cool. All right, let's roll outdoors. We did it. All right, thanks for watching.